Hello, this is Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray um, Silent Hill. That's what it's called. So, the audio was out of sync um, when I recorded this initially, so I'm having to do post commentary here instead of the way I usually do commentary. So, um, the Reaper's um, uh, rhyme, um, the Reaper's list, said that uh, these would be in age order, so from youngest to oldest, so that's Albert Lloyds, Lydia Findlay, Edward C. Briggs, Roberta T. Morgan, and Trevor F. White. And with those, if you take the first letter of each of their names in that order, it spells alert, which is what you have to type into the keyboard. Um, to get through the door, and I didn't realise it was only looking for one word. I don't think the uh, the rhyme actually gives you enough of a clue about that. Now, hopefully, the my commentary and what's happening on the screen won't be out of sync. But since this is post commentary, there are some things that make that trickier. There will also be times when I've just cut something out. So I had a good wander around this room. Try to cut out any bits where not much is actually happening. Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why well, I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. Just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. <laughs> But that is my favourite cutscene from the Silent Hill franchise because it's kind of like a punch to the gut, I think. I think I also uh, unfortunately spent a lot of time with this video not actually knowing what to do and just kind of wandering around doing nothing. If I remember correctly, this corridor has. There's nothing else in it. Ah, but it does have this infamously hard puzzle. Although actually, once you work out the answer, it's really not that tricky. Uh, 
these are star signs, but I know nothing about star signs, which is fortunate, because you don't need to know anything about star signs to get this puzzle. You basically just need to be able to count to ten. So, yeah, that has four legs, and uh, has a four underneath. Makes sense. That's a fish. Has zero uh, legs. That doesn't really have any legs or limbs of any other kind. It has two sort of sticky out bits that I suppose count. So that's why there's two. Well, we're not looking for limbs here, just limbs. We are also looking for, well, sorry, we're not look, looking for um, legs, we're also looking for arms. And that is something you wouldn't necessarily realise when you see that's ten. And you might be quite confused, which is what I was confused about. Which is why I'm going to cut out about ten minutes of me having no idea what I'm supposed to do here. But to put it very simply, the ones that are two, two children or two people together have ten limbs, um, the bull has four limbs, and uh, I, I think the one with the arrow has eight limbs. Okay, well, I was wrong. That one's for the, uh, the kids, or... The two people are eight, and this one is five, because he has the arm, of course, and the four legs. Oh, six. No, that's six. Okay. Sorry about the confusion. Wow, it really did take me a very long time to work that out. Um when I was making the original video. And I've been attacked by Lisa, possibly. I mean, this nurse doesn't seem to have those things on her back. So... And it took me a little while to work out what to do. It also makes sense uh, for that to be Lisa because he would be in this corridor. So, the game hasn't really explained this yet, but what we're seeing here is Alyssa's uh, memories. And I think uh, at this point her memories have all gotten jumbled up, which is why it's a collection of the different rooms we've already seen so far. So, note that it says light illuminating darkness. That's going to be important later. light as well. At this point I decided to go to the second floor.
That's all you can find in this room. Can't get through there. All of the other doors in the corridor were locked except for this one. If I remember correctly, at this point I have oh, killed her, obviously, and uh, then spent a very large amount of time wandering around, uh, not being able to work out what to do. All of which I will cut out. Now, uh, there is one more bit where I go into the room that Lisa was in. Um, when she first realised the truth, and there's her dowry there, and uh, I will show that off, but I won't be talking during that part. Well, it took me ages, but eventually I conned on to the fact that uh, light is, of course, the camera flash. And, um, well, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, hopefully, uh, the next episode will be in sync, and I won't have to do post-commentary. See you next.